Here's a check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. National Weather Service has a wind advisory remaining in effect from noon today until midnight tonight. Winds 15 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour are expected. In Litchfield County, the Berkshires of western Massachusetts, eastern Catskills, also the greater capital region, Taconics, and the Mid-Hudson Valley and adjacent eastern New York. That's from noon today till midnight tonight. Gusty winds are expected with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. In a story in this morning's Republican American, Salisbury heard pros and cons for the affordable housing project. You can see that video on the CATV6 website, catv6.com. Just click on the Vimeo link for that video. Bob LeVon, owner of LeVon's Market, said he can't staff his store with employees who have to drive 50 minutes to work. Quote, this is desperately needed. End quote. He said Monday of the Holly Place affordable housing proposal during a four-hour planning and zoning commission meeting. Quoting again, I can't wait 20 more years. End quote. Salisbury Housing Committee, a volunteer group, has submitted plans for a 12-unit apartment building at the intersection of Millerton Road and Holly Place in Lakeville. Committee members have noted that residents at a forum in 2018 deemed it the favorite location for such a site. The hearing will resume April 14th. PNZ members also heard reasons why some interveners believe that proposal should be denied, and those opponents have hired an attorney. For the second time in the past two weeks, the planning board in Sheffield has denied a permit request for a cannabis grow operation proposed for Polakoff Road in Ashley Falls. In the 5-0 vote Wednesday night, the board rejected ZGC LLC's application for 100,000 square feet of commercial marijuana cultivation on six acres. The board denied the plan on grounds that the location in a residential area is not suited to a business. Concerns included the potential for odors and increased traffic. The chairman said Thursday Day. That's more than 15-acre farmland property about the Canaan state line. Officials and others from North Canaan joined Ashley Falls residents in expressing their opposition. Connecticut is once again accelerating the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccinations. On Thursday, Governor Ned Lamont announced that those who are ages 16 to 44 were eligible for vaccines starting April 1st. That is four days sooner than the date that was slated for the age group a few weeks ago. Connecticut is one month ahead of the goal to make the vaccine available to all adults by May the 1st. For more information, 877-918-2224 if you are a Connecticut resident. Local students have received anti-COVID face masks donated by the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. The Germantown and Ichabod Crane School Districts announced they received thousands of masks through the donations. They thanked the sheriff. He got 50,000 masks donated to them from the Ford Motor Company, according to the Germantown Central School District Superintendent. They donated a bunch of them, over 2,200 masks, knowing that we started sports back up and they have to wear a mask while they're playing or practicing and they get dirty all the time. Local school districts have been allowed to resume sports sports in New York after COVID-19 put them on pause last spring. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio announced comeback plans yesterday to set up vaccination sites for Broadway performers and theater workers to ensure shows can return to the city this fall. Quote, it's time to raise the curtain and bring Broadway back, end quote. Broadway theaters abruptly closed March 12th, knocking out all shows, including 16 that were scheduled to open. Producers citing health and city authorities extended the shutdown through at least June 7th. Along with vaccination efforts, the city's plan for reopening this fall includes pop-up coronavirus testing sites near theaters, crowd management before and after shows, and a mobile vaccination unit for off-Broadway performers and workers. The announcement did not include information regarding what theater capacities might look like upon reopening. All New York State movie theaters were allowed to reopen this month with capacity restricted to 25 percent and no more than 50 people per screen assigned seating social distancing and masks southern berkshire regional school committee has a negotiation subcommittee meeting coming up this morning that is at 2 30 actually this afternoon the super supper is being held today today at the congregational church library street in salisbury in between 3 30 and 5 30 each month, they're offering this free takeaway soup supper. Supplies are limited. You can order ahead, call, or email your name, phone number, and number of servings, 860-435-4644, or email salisburycc21 at gmail.com. Falls Village Recreation Commission annual Easter egg hunt is tomorrow at the Lee H. Kellogg School Athletic Field. 
in Salisbury Scrofel Memorial Library is playing some grisly times with grisly stories, reflections of a natural history and advocacy. That will be presented tomorrow at 4 p.m. at the library. To register or more information, scrovillelibrary.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Instagram. And Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the day at 32,619.48. The NASDAQ at 12,977.68. And the S&P 500 at 3,909.52. We'll take a look at that tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.